we're going to be looking at BotPress. We're going to look at the key features, the pricing, and how we can create our own micro SaaS in just a few minutes. So first of all, what is BotPress? BotPress is a platform where you can create chat GPT chatbots really quickly. Now, I would really look at BotPress broken up into three different tiers. They have the GPT native engine, the conversation studio, and then the hub. Specifically today, we're going to look at two, which is the native engine and the hub. When we look at what you can do with the native engine, this allows you to really harness AI and do a lot of different things with it. What's important to note is really focusing on what you need this for. Are you going to be using this for internal use? Are you using it for your own company? Are you going to use it to be answering support tickets? What's going to be happening? What are you using right now? In the comment section down below, why would you be using a chatbot like this for your company? Now, as we look at this, this is just one example, the AI task, this allows you to take action. So with the AI task, you can, you can take control of the power of LM, LLMs. Now that's the large language models to automate processes and execute complex workflow. So really, this is going to be really specific on what you need. So before you dive into using this, you might want on a piece of paper, write down what are you doing right now in your business? What are you doing manually that you want to now speed up using the power of AI and using these workflows? Also to, uh, to note, you can look at the bot personality. So say, for instance, you want the bot to have a very specific personality traits or how it communicates with people. If you use, if you're familiar with like uh, chat GPT, uh, you have a limited way that you can change the personality, but here you can really uh, curtail it for your audience and to have that, that uh, personality or that brand come across. You can even change it uh, based on how friendly you want it. You can, you can also uh, have more descriptions of what you want that bot to be like. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, what also is interesting right here, it says meet the first GPT native engine that is six steps ahead. Discover the possibilities of generative AI and large language models. So right here, it's showing number one, the bot press knowledge bases, two, the GPT powered natural language understanding, the first of its kind natural dialogue understanding, sentiment analysis built with GPT, which is going to be coming soon. This is going to be really interesting as well, because you're going to be able to see how people are responding, being able to almost um, be able to take the temperature as it were of what's going on when people are answering and things like that. Also too, if we look at it, it shows this is coming soon as well. Natural language generation, and it breaks down let me zoom in real quick. It says, the chatbot building companion you always wish you had. Let generative AI anticipate what the next step should be and how to say it. Reduce your time, your build time with automatic content suggestions that put you in control to harness the power of GPT without worrying about your brand reputation. Very interesting. So those are some of the things that you can have right there in the GPT native engine. Now, also I wanna break, uh, bring out the hub, which allows you to have a large collection of different integrations. Again, this goes back into what are you using? When you're coming to bot, bot press, what are you going to be using? And this allows you to really see the different integrations and the different ways you could be using Gmail, Airtable, Asana, HubSpot, whatever you're using to really get the most out of it. For example, let's just take a look at Gmail. So it mentions integrate chat GPT with Gmail with BotPress. And here you can be getting the overview of what it could be doing. And then some of the features of how you can really supercharge whatever you're doing with Gmail. Right here allows you to really understand different things it could be doing. And again, I, I want to not get too much in the weeds, but really think about if you're struggling or feeling overwhelmed with email, this would be something to take a look at how this could help you 
not feel overwhelmed with your inbox. If you're going to be using HubSpot, uh, that CRM, what could you be doing? Jira, the list goes on. It's really important as you're looking at this list before diving in and just saying yes, yes, yes to all these integrations, create a tier list of what's impactful for your business right now. What can help you to alleviate stress that will allow you to save time and make more money in your business? In the comment section down below, let me know what's going on in your business and why you would use something like this for your business. Now, let's take a look at the pricing of BotPress. So to get started with BotPress, it's actually free to get started. <laughs> yeah, there's a free plan. So incoming messages up to 100, uh, excuse me, up to 1,000, <laughs> 1K. So 1,000 messages, it's going to be free. So you can start building, you can really start working on the workflow absolutely free. Then when you progress, it's a monthly, uh, it's pay as you go right here. So as you're going, it says your monthly calculator right here. You're gonna be able to see the additional messages and then also the bot message rate as you go, right? And you can see how much you're going to be spending. Remember, if you're starting in your business, depending on how many people you have, it might you might be on the free plan for a little bit of time before you start scaling. Maybe you start internal and then you're going to be using the same tool for people to access your knowledge base that could be free or, as we're going to see in a moment, could be also a paid service where people are getting access to your knowledge base as well. So that is going to be the pricing. You can start on the free plan and then be able to scale as you're getting more additional messages. And right here, this is a great calculator for you to start thinking about how is this going to be profitable for my business? It could be profitable if you're charging, right? If they're going to be interacting with your bot, but also if you're saying, well, I'm not sure if our, our business can afford this, think about how many how much time this could save your business. If you're thinking about how many tickets you go through per day, maybe customer service, if you have this integrated, how much time is that saving where instead of a person is now spending hours answering, now this is tracking how many, uh, how many tickets it's solving in your business. So something to consider depending on what you're doing for your business right now. Now, to get started, you can sign up for free, like I mentioned. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a micro SaaS. We're going to create a micro CAS. That's K-A-A-S, knowledge as a service. And how are we going to do this? What is this going to look like? Well, we're going to use our own product and then show you how we would do it with BotPress. So we actually have a paid product called Docs Docs. It is all of my notes on different things that I'm interested in and also different things that I'm building with, say, for instance, with Python, with uh, Bolt SQL, or say, for instance, AppGyver, Glide, Flutterflow, all of them. I have all of these different notes right here that people just pay for the Notion documents. Well, I wanted to go to BotPress and create a chatbot for people who could access Docs Docs instead of reading all those things and trying to search it themselves. They can do it with BotPress. So how would we do that? So after we logged in, we can, this is our default workspace right here. We can create a chat bot. So after we click that, this will allow us to say, okay, congratulations. You just created a new chat bot. Hop into our new studio to start editing. So I'm going to click edit. This allows me to then get prompts. It says, congratulations. You're almost done creating your chat bot. How would you like to bootstrap your chat bot knowledge. Okay, so this is great. Right here, this allows me to uh, have different options how I'm gonna be building it out. I don't have to do it from scratch. So it says, answer questions on documents, answer questions from websites, start from template. Uh, I need handholding, build a bot and learn how at the same time. So right here, I think I'm going to do answer questions on documents. It says, upload text documents and your chat bot will be able to answer questions on those. That sounds pretty perfect to me. Now, I'm going to download some of these documents and make them PDFs for them to be able to be used in the knowledge base. Now, you might be asking, like, what documents does it take? How would I know? Well, you, BotPress actually has the documentation right here, so you can search 
for what kind of uh, formats that it takes and all those different things. If you have very specific questions, if you're looking to do the same thing, but we're going to just have it as a PDF and then be able to do that. So right here, we can see answer questions on documents. So I'm going to click this. Now, right here, it says, please upload documents to answer your questions from your users. Now, if you're asking to, you can always copy and paste and just say like what documents or what formats uh, of documents can be used. And I'll just do that real quick. So format of documents. And I'll just say like upload. Let's see if I can do it. Knowledge base enabling that. So this is talking about enabling um, knowledge base agent description, how to write the description documents. So right here it says um, the sources would be PDF, HTML, text files, doc files, and docx. So I'm good to go. All right. So I'm going to go back. Let me move some things. I have way too many windows. Okay. So I'm going to add some documents. I created a folder right there of bot press docs, docs, demos. Let me drag it in. So I'm bringing in a couple different ones. I'm bringing in my first million uh, idea search engine, the business of belonging notes, which is a book and then SQL bolt. Okay, I'm gonna say confirm. So it says, please keep the window open until the upload is done. It's thinking about its life. It's already done. I'm gonna say close. All right, so I have my three things right here. And then it says, say hello to your chat bot. So it's getting my bot ready right here. And then I'm going to be able in the studio to see what's going on. Now we also get prompts right here that allows me to um, see what I'm going to be doing next. So it mentions your chatbot has finished learning the information provided. Now let's test it with some questions. That's awesome. So now it's already saying right here, test your chatbot by asking it a question about the content you provided. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to say, um, what is Bolt SQL SQL, All right? So I'm going to do that. I click enter, say next. So right here, it says I'm the new chatbot. I'm going to say be able, this is where the conversation happens. So right here, I'm going to be able to ask questions. And so it gives me questions right here. And then I can also uh, publish and deploy. Now, if I can still ask more questions, like I can say, um, what is the business of belonging? So right here, it's going to be thinking about its answer. And of course, if I want to test it again, is the business of belonging. Okay, so right here it says answer from the knowledge base. And so it's telling me what the business is, right? Refers to the concept of leveraging community. And now I have a response. I can also say is what is. Right? So now it's going to have more, see? SQL is a structured query language. And so now it's getting more things based on all the different things I sent it. Now on the left-hand side, just basically we've already got this done, but if we want to change the name, some of the things in the chatbot, I can change it here. I can say docs, chatbot, something like that. Um, and then I can have that done. Okay, but all of these things can be done here if I want to, then of course saving. But if I just want to publish it and be able to check it out, I can just press the button publish. It's gonna be thinking about its life for a moment and then it's going to publish my chat pod. Now, as it's doing that, what's really important is when it publishes, now I can share it. And why is this so important? Well, when I share it, now people in my company or other places, they can start testing it out and seeing it for themselves. So say for instance, what is the 
business of belonging. So now, say for instance, if I'm going to be having this as a cast and knowledge as a service, I can start having people be able to understand what was in all my documents instead of them, you know, sifting through, finding what's great for them, reading all the different notes right here. I can ask, you know, I can have them if they want to know what chapter one is about instead of them reading and doing all these sections here, they can just have that right there in the chat bot. And that's really impactful. It's saving time. And there are a couple different studies or statistics showing that when knowledge workers, because there's no central hub of information, they are losing close to two weeks on average per year because things are disorganized. Having something like BotPress to really uh, you know, streamline and have a system for people to be able to query, get information that helps an internal company, that can help your audience if you have a community, all of these different things, all being done with BotPress. And really, very structured. The, U, U, the U, UI, UX looks very good. And this is just scratching the surface. There are tons of different things that you can be doing with BotPress. And if you like these kind of videos and you want us to do more about BotPress, let us know in the comment section down below. Let us know also, what are you planning to do? Where, why would you want to use BotPress for your business right now? Where would you begin? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you like these kind of videos, we do this every single week. And I'll see you in the next video.